What's up everybody? Today I'm making a video showing you a simple and effective way to clean your firearms without a lot of work. So what, I, what I've got here is a PSAK 47 GB2 model uh, that my friends at ak-builder.com have uh, helped me with a few of the modifications I purchased. Great source for parts if you're interested. Uh, what I've got going on here is I've got the tipped in best gun vise and a few of my tools laid out uh, just to give you kind of an idea of uh, what I use. So I've got some um, just some cheap life hacks here. You're going to need something to wipe your hands off when you're using um, uh, grease, for example, gun oil. That's what these are for. You're going to need something to wipe uh, dirt. Uh, gun solvents, that kind of thing, or oil mixed with uh, dirt, for example. You're going to need to uh, have some, some cloths to wipe that on. Um, and, and this is a great gun vise for cleaning. It's very adjustable. Um, you know, allows you to get an AK-47 in there, uh, a standard hunting rifle. Like I said, the adjustability is great on um, You're going to need a lot of tools. As you can see, I've just got like some cheap uh, picks from uh, Walmart uh, tool aisle that I've ground down. Uh, basically ground the actual uh, point off of them so they're very dull but that helps you get into uh, crevices and edges uh, just some standard like brass brushes and screwdrivers uh, different brush uh, you know rod brushes all these tools are going to come in handy uh, of course you're going to have easy access to all your all your tools like a like a freaking fat uh, fat wrench you got punches you've got uh, jags and brushes micrometer. This is an interesting little hack here. Just a couple old coffee um, containers here just to uh, organize all your little small tools. So that makes it really easy. Uh, I've got something else here for a lot of small tools, things that I use a lot. Um, uh, carbon scrapers for example. Um, easy way to organize all your different patches. Do a little tray, and this is magnetic, so if I need to put something in it, I can. Uh, I've got more uh, storage over here. All my chemicals stored, uh, rubbing alcohol to degrease. Of course, you've got, um, let's see, this is an interesting one. Some anti seize. That helps. I put that always, I'll put that on threads if, um, oh, I have like a muzzle brake, for example, that comes off. Um, I'm always going to put just a dab inside there on the threads and spread that out. Um, here's a neat little life hack something to put your dirty patches into so you're not stinking up the house with all your patches uh, another little basket just uh, for more tools you never know, know when the stuff's going to come in handy uh, so this stuff's all kind of made it made its way uh, in from the garage over the years and uh, you know just a little bag to put uh, put your cut up cloths in save yourself some money on some patches where you can of course uh, I do use some patches but I try to limit that uh, as much as possible uh, and then of course just an old toolbox uh, you know, to put more chemicals in. Um, you can see I've got more cleaning cloths and that kind of thing stored. And then just um, hang up your tools. And I just have like a really cheap, it was just a free desk lamp, uh, hanging from the ceiling, literally. Um, so yeah, and then these uh, blue shop towels, that's going to come in handy, because I've got an actual cleaning mat underneath. But then I put some old t-shirts, and then I'll put a, a, a layer of blue towels down over it. And that'll kind of help to protect. So I've got something I can just roll up, throw away. I can throw down new, new blue mats. And um, this rifle's just been cleaned. Got a, got a little homemade, um, uh, just a, a bench block here. So if you have to take something apart, that's nice. You can, you can see the amount of damage to it over the years. Uh, and then here is the last one, just a, a yoga ball. That's great to sit on so that while you're over here working, cleaning your guns, maintaining your firearms, uh, you know, you've got a nice place to rest. You don't have to throw your back out. So any questions and comments, uh, let me know. I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching.